this is Ben Stowe, my three clutch putting tips in partnership with Golf Magic. Now firstly, I'm going to talk about committing to the line. It's really important to commit to your first instinct when you're clutch putting, because most of the time your first instinct is going to be the right one. And when you're under pressure, you're going to have a lot of things going on in your head you're going to have to try and stick and commit to a really good line. Okay, so what I do is I get down behind the putt, have a good look. So we're just going to hit a little short one here. So I have a good look behind the putt and I pick a little spot in the back of the hole where I think the line is, where I want the ball to hit the back of the hole. Okay, and then as I stand behind it, I draw a little white line, but that's my committing to the initial thought of what my line is and then I can go ahead and hit a really good putt. I've got no other thoughts in my head, I'm just gonna to commit to that line. Okay, now my second clutch putting tip, we're gonna talk a little bit about routine. So come over here, we're gonna hit a longer one. So what about, uh, 40 footer here, okay? So we're in a pretty flat green here at Bramshaw. And um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a good look at it from behind. This is really important to have a really good routine. So you really wanna be comfortable in your routine. You wanna understand what you're doing and you wanna really, it wants to feel natural to you. Okay, so after I've had a look at it from behind, then I'm gonna read it from the side because I wanna see the undulation, whether it's uphill, downhill and I'm always going to read it like I read a book. So you read a book like this, so you read it from the side and from under the hole. Okay? So here I'm going to go around, I'm going to have a look from this angle. So now I can see that it's a little bit uphill, and we've got a bit of flat, and then it's pretty flat at the hole as well. So overall slightly uphill, but pretty flat overall. So now I've got a really good idea of what the putt's going to do. It's going to go right to left if I read from down here. And then it's a little bit uphill as well. Go ahead and roll this one. Now I'm comfortable in my routine. Me personally, I stand behind the ball. I get my chest facing on the line where I want the ball to start. And then I, and I picture the ball rolling down the line that I want it to roll on. Take a couple of practice strokes. I always take three. And then I go in and I'm seeing the ball rolling into the hole here. Once I get over it, I hit it pretty quick. Okay, lag it up there nicely. Okay, and then my third putting tip. Come nice and close into the hole here. What it's really important to do, especially on short putts, okay, let's say I know you got a, you got a putt to on the final hole, or you got a putt to make the cut, or you got a putt to win. What's really important, and it's a big temptation when we're putting, especially under pressure, is to see where the ball's gone before we hit it. So, like, head up, and, like, be looking for where it's gone. So a great tip, I always find, is I just want to, I want to make sure that when I make my, when, my, when I make my putting stroke, I want to see the actual putter hit the back of the ball. Rather than if you lift your head up, you won't see that. You'll see it starting to roll. So with this type of one, I'm going to really keep my eyes down. I'm going to focus on getting the putter to hit the back of the ball. And I see the strike, okay? So then you get a nice roll and you get the ball rolling nice and quickly. Rather than if you look up, sometimes you can bobble it or you can misstrike it, okay? So these are my three clutch putting tips. Thank you very much.